I'm finally done with my 30 days 1000 jump rope skips a day and I'm so glad that I'm done with this challenge. For 30 days, I've not missed a single day and I've done 1000 skips or more every single day without fail. And I'm so excited because I'm finally here. I'm finally at the end. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop jumping. I'm still gonna jump. Jumping ropes has, has made me feel a lot more stronger, a lot more energetic. I could wake up in the morning and not feel tired. Although there are some days where my legs just feel like dying. Ultimately, I feel a lot better now. I just feel that I can do anything after doing this 30 days jump rope challenge. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's jump straight into my journey and I'll get back to you once I'm done with that. I'm gonna meet two of my friends to do some jump ropes today. It's day 10 and I got my weights ready, my jump ropes in my bag. I'm so excited man. I'm so excited. This is Amiro, look at his speed rope. Yo, show them, show them his speed rope. It's like some next level shit bruh. It's the boxing instructor. Okay, nice to meet you man. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So this is the spot that we're gonna jump rope at. We got pull up bar. I'm gonna use that later. Just got done with 1000 skips. We did it in like 18 minutes. It's not that quick, but it's a start. Not too bad for a beginner, should be able to complete. Lah. Yeah. I never done skipping before, though. Thanks, huh? <laughs> it's been like so long. Yeah. So this is 1000 skips. Do you think you can do this every day for 30 days? Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. As an as a experienced instructor trainer, right? If someone does this for 30 days, do you think the results will be amazing? Definitely, if you do something, there will be results. This one will be amazing, trust me. Yeah. 1000 skips every day, weighted. Oh man, yeah, weighted. Good job, man. Good job, good job. Today I bought a new rope. It is 150 grams. It has ball bearings and stuff, so it's pretty not bad. And I got Azim. Azim, are you ready? Yeah. This much more intense than this one. Yeah, definitely, because that rope is 150 grams. This one, right? How many grams? No, this is like below 100 yeah, grams. Very light. I feel good actually. Yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> So we just got done with our gym and right now we're gonna go skip 1000 skips let's go this is my first time doing jump ropes after an actual gym session <laughs> <laughs> it's really killing me it's insane oh man i feel like dying i'm just left with like 10 more days let's go 500 more It's KG. This day one for KG. Oh, <laughs> I cannot do this one. Oh yeah, nice form KG. That's it. That's it. That's it. You're like doing a lot more than I did on my first day with that. I'm an athlete. Doing this. Yeah. Shut up. 
This is what I call determination, man. You guys may see KG as like the funny guy, but he's pushing it through, man. And we got Azim over here. <laughs> Good job. High five, kid. That's it. So it's finally day 30. I'm quite sad because for the past 30 days, I've enjoyed myself. I've had fun jumping every single day, going through everything. But that's not gonna stop me from jumping. I'm still gonna jump every single day. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy this moment. Last night we said we knew this was the end Woke up, came right back to do it again Blew in from nowhere like dust in the wind Waiting for the sun to fade out But then I got lost on the way I might lose a thread, thoughts all in my head Buried by the weight Trying to pick myself up so I can untuck what's underway Stepping in the fog Brothers lost in the summer, turn into legends of the fall So we just going out, barely sober now Hope someone hold us down Every night, bottles go around like this was holy ground Prayers up, hit some players up Walk in the Sayers Club Down for truth and leather boots But I don't know which way is up I know that I'm different, I'm not tripping I'm just noticing I've been writing scripture, every picture that I'm posing And like I can see the future in the distance so don't you worry, I'm not gonna miss it, you know? Okay, so that was my 30 days journey, what I've documented. Some days I was quite lazy to really document what, you know, I did and stuff. I came onto the challenge, I was weighing at 81 kilograms. And the reason why I wanted to jump into this challenge was because I've been working out since last year, September. And if you guys can see over here, I was, yes, this was me. And right now, it has been seven months. But the thing is that I was stuck at the plateau. I was stuck because I just felt that I wasn't doing enough. Like I wasn't pushing myself like much because I was always doing the same thing, carrying weights, jogging, running. But the thing about me is that I hate running because of how long it takes for you to like burn at least 200 or 300 calories. I went online and I search like the fastest way to lose weight yes everyone does that and then after that i stumbled upon this jump rope challenge by ashy boy shout out to you man you kind of like inspired me to do this i was pretty impressed so i told myself you know what if he can do it why not me the very next day i went onto the shop nearby my workplace and then i got this rope it's a pretty normal rope it has a counter on it so you can count for the first three or four days i used this rope but then i just felt that i needed something stronger i got this rope is a killer i'm not kidding you man like even till today after 30 days i hate this rope so much but the burn it gives you is just amazing and halfway through my challenge i got this rope and if i'm not wrong this is by excelsior or something i'm not i'm not too sure but this is a very nice rope it has weight on it it's about 150 grams and it feels really nice when you jump on this so for the past yeah 19 days i've been jumping on this and coming into this challenge i was pretty skeptical i didn't document much because i wasn't sure if i could actually stick to the whole 30 days to keep me motivated what i do was that i just post things online so that i know that you know what i'm not gonna turn back on what i said you know i'm not gonna disappear and then not do the ropes anymore the first five days was was pretty tiring it took me about half an hour to like complete 1000 skips am i really gonna do this am i really gonna complete 30 days i just push myself and yeah and after that after that it, it was pretty smooth sailing along the way i just felt that 1000 skips wasn't enough so i incorporated weight training and also more jumps than usual so i probably did about 1500 skips on average a day i'm not gonna lie Throughout my 30 days journey, I did not only do ropes. I went to the gym to carry weights. I, I did I did abs exercises. I did pull-ups with me and you guys. I just want to be open and honest about every single thing. Okay, so for now, I'm pretty done with this 30 days jump rope challenge or whatnot. But my next plan is to do another challenge. But I'm not quite sure what challenge I should do next. So if you guys have any ideas on what challenge you guys want me to do, hit me up. Probably 
200 push-ups a day or 500 crunches a day or like you know so this video is only targeted to the whole journey on my on my 30 days jump rope journey i am gonna do a probably a one year journey of my losing weight getting getting healthy being healthy bear in mind i'm not a professional i mean i did not study this all i did was go online look at all the stuff that you can find like articles or like youtube videos you guys must always remember that every person every individual is different if this thing works for me it may not work for you the most important thing is that the basics has to be right so as long as you guys have the basics right how you kind of like initiate everything else depends on your work schedule depends on your school always find time to like slot things for example if my jump ropes all it takes is like 11 minutes even if I come home late at night, I tell myself, you know what? It's only 11 minutes, it's only a thousand skips, do it. At the start, you may feel a little bit lethargic. You may feel like, you know what? Why am I doing this? Trust me on this, after five minutes, you guys will feel that you guys are pumped and you guys can do a lot more than 1,000. I did miss day 27, but the following day, I did 2,000 skip. If you guys can't take it, if you guys can't handle it, it's okay for you to take break. If you push yourself too much, you may get injuries and you may fall sick. And when that happens, you will lose all the motivation to lose weight. Know your limits, know how much you can do. Yep, that's my journey for my 30 days challenge. And if you guys got anything that you guys want to share or you guys want me to do, just write down in the comment section and let me know and follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram tag. Have a good day, have a great day, have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.